Hey guys, what's up? Filippo here. Welcome to a brand new video. So today we talk about LUTs and especially about LUTs recreation, why you would like to recreate them and how to do it. So first question, why you will have to recreate a LUT? First thing, a LUT is a file that, you know, goes into your timeline, goes into your node tree and condense your color space for a specific delivery. It's not quite handy to manage it as it is a file itself and you have to place it, use it as it is, and you can do so much to it. Recreating it will give you the freedom of customizing it if you might need it and tweaking it around in different ways on your node tree dependently on the project you're working on. So and here I have a C300 Mark III clip um, which I converted from Camelag kind of like to into scene on film log and from scene on film log I use the film look that we already uh, saw on another one of my videos and I applied the Kodak 233D55 the most accurate one for this clip we got our look and we want to recreate it I will let you see how to do it but before that I want to see the difference between a lot like this one and a lot that you might find on the web so here I have my grayscale and I got two last year the first one is the one that we will be using and this one it's a compressed lot from a random library on the web i won't tell the name but it's a pretty big name big library but it's a garbage lot so as you can see difference here i want to expand my my scopes as you can see the main difference from these two lots stands in the compression so everything is super smooth on the kodak one and as you can read and see from the scopes, everything, you know, it's there and it's made on a proper way and it's super smooth, everything gets tweaked around in a really great way. And if I took this other compressed one, you can just see from this bands right here and the way they are, they have been, you know, uh, read on our scopes, how much this is compressed. So using a lot like this into your footage will you know break everything apart your delivery will looks awful and you know everything will look super nasty and super compressed but you can actually take the flavor that this might want to have and recreate it in a non-compressed way so in this video i will let you see how to do this inside the venture solve so you can maybe take one uh lot that you may like not a conversion lot but maybe uh, creative lot or whatever lot you may like and just recreate it yourself and give you your own personality so i don't want to use this by the way i want to use this one and it's the same one that we got in our clip in order to do this first thing i want to grab a still and by grabbing a still we will have the exact representation of our lot into a gallery used on great on a grayscale and if i just erase both this and i just press the image wipe you can see that we got our representation right there. By the way, if you don't know how to create a grayscale, you just have to go on the edits, on the generators, grayscale, you're gonna drag it there, right click, new compound clip, and it will be editable like this in the color page. So we will split this thing into a few parts. Maybe we will be splitting this just in two parts, three parts, I don't know. We'll see how much longer this video will come. But we will start for sure with the contrast, because the first thing that you want to match is the contrast. So by having played this one in the image wipe, you just have to care on the bottom part right there. And because we're talking about the contrast, you want to tweak around the RGB, we want just to talk about the luminance. So you want to have a big picture of this, you want to expand your scopes, I don't care about my notes right now and you want to expand your curves and i want to work just with um the luminance right now so by expanding this two you don't want to take a look too much what's happening here but you want to look what's happening here in the scopes so i think i'll be speeding up this a bit but i just want to start you know replicating whatever i'm reading here with my curves Remember, you can do this actually with your wheels, but I might tell you that, you know, curves are better in a situation like this one. So I don't want to do a pixel by pixel perfect match. I want to be extra accurate for sure, but 
I want to make something that will look exactly as it should look, but at the same time that it's not like a complete waste of time anytime you gotta recreate a lot. So let me fix this. So again, I'm not being super, you know, pixel perfect, but if we crank down our scopes, our curves, you can see that our contrast is matching with our original LUT. We should do a few more things. We should compensate use and also compensate the tones. So we should make our split tone right now. I want to do uh, this prior to the contrast because by doing this after the contrast, the luminance will take effect on the uh, contrast image, on the contrast trick. We want to do this before and a crucial thing is we want to set our lumetra mix to zero. In order to do this, our tweaks around the RGB one compensate the luminance one from another. So I will rename this split toning. And also I want to expand again my waveform. And this time I will be taking on the RGB just my reds. So I'll be selecting my reds and same thing there. I'm gonna select just my reds. So I'm sure that I'm just seeing both reds channel for from both my clips. So again, let's speed up the time and let's create this. So again, maybe not pixel perfect here, but you got what we've done here. And right now I'm gonna pass to my greens and same thing here, I wanna edit my greens. And same thing on the blues. Okay, so still not pixel perfect, but I might say this will do the job. So let's reveal what we did here. And yeah, I might see that from split toning in the contrast, we are at a really good point. So at this point, you will need a clip with a chart to make the U compensation and tweak things around in the exact same way. But you know, having a big picture of it, you know, I might say that it is working fine, you know? So we have to test it. We have to grab a still right now of what we did here. We have to go in our clips and just deactivate this create a parallel with those two serial, deactivate our LED and, you know, just apply it. So let's expand this. Let's display the node graph. Let's put the splits on here and the contrast here. So I just placed there both my correctors. And right now I just want to select Rec 709, grab a still and play it while working at my two nodes right here, so I'm gonna play it. And as you can see, the main issues that we got with our recreation stands in those upper reds, even because from the curtains, let me expand this, to the boxes, all those mids area are good. The reds are completely, I might say, missing. We got also a little bit of blues here. The mid red part, it's to be fixed for sure. And I'm saying this to, you know, let you understand how accurate you should be, you know, while recreating a lot, a really great lux such as the Kodak 2383. Even because right now we are just working with splint toning and contrast and one thing or two that we love to add are for sure the use and also another corrector to match the spectral sensitivity that the original lot have. So right now we can take by hand our corrector and just fine tune those things or just come back into our compound clip on a grayscale and fix this. But also make a proper match of the use and of the luminosity and sensitivity of the old colors. In a situation like this one, for sure, the color warper is a really handy tool to match things around 
But as you can see, few tweaks around with the Werber made for sure the job. So here is the clip made with the LUT and here is the clip with the LUT recreation. So again, if you take the right amount of time, you can do great things. As you can see from the before and after, the results are great. But again, remember that if you would love to work with a really spectacular film look recreation, such as the Kodak 2383, you won't, might not have no need to recreate this. But it's cool if you want to make your custom lot or your custom power grades, or just recreate a specific look, taking the right time and use it anytime you want on any project you want, being able to do customization around on every single project. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you the next time. Be brave and make it better.